Hey doctors, today we are going to discuss about another test and that is called as fern test. In previous lecture we discussed about the nitrazine paper test uh, that is uh, about uh, for the uh, early or the premature rupture of the amniotic membrane and uh, in that uh, test we find the pH of the uh, secretion of vaginal secretion okay and from that we uh, come to know that either this secretion is from normal uh, secretion of the cervix and vagina or it um, is the uh, amniotic fluid okay so here we have another test that is called the fan test the fan test is also used to distinguish the amniotic fluid from the other fluids it is named because of the pattern of arborization that occurs when the amniotic fluid is placed on the slide and is allowed to dry in the room here so uh, fern uh, because uh, the name okay because of the name because whenever we put whenever we take the sample of the amniotic fluid and put it on the, uh, the slide and let it dry then we can see there is uh, some uh, fern leaf like appearance we will i will show you later okay because of that uh, appearance it is called as the fern test that is uh, the resultant pattern which resembles the leaves of the fern plant is caused by the sodium chloride content in the amniotic fluid the uh, leaf okay fern leaf appearance is due to that of the the presence of the sodium chloride into the amniotic fluid the ferning pattern from the amniotic fluid is fine with multiple branches is shown below cervical mucus does not typically shown ferning or uh, if it does, the pattern is thick with a mucus less branching. This test is considered more in indicative uh, of the rupture membrane and then the nitrazine test. But uh, as with any test, it is not 100% reliable. So it is the test in which we take the sample of the uh, cervical or the vaginal secretion. Okay, uh, we can take the amniotic fluid and we put on the uh, slide and let it dry if give it if it give some branching like here okay okay if it's fern leaf like branches then we can say that it is the amniotic fluid if it is the, if there is no highly branch uh, if uh, there is less branching or it may be thick secretion then we can say that that is uh, from the cervical secretion so if it is branching highly branched like a fern leaf then we can say that this secretion is uh, from the amniotic fluid so there is a chance uh, of the rupture that the of the amniotic membrane if the amniotic membrane rupture so the fluid come out we take the sample okay and it will give like this appearance